After two days of practicing together, the Titans and the Bucks will play Saturday night at Raymond James Stadium. Kickoff set for 6.30 Central. You can hear it on Titans Radio beginning with Titans Countdown at 5.30 Central. With Amy Wells and Coach Dave McGinnis, I'm Mike Keith. Coach Mack, the battle for backup quarterback continues. What does Matt Barkley need to do if he's going to make a move on Logan Woodside? Well, another big week for both of these guys, Mike. They're going to get extensive playing time against a better defense. Let's just be honest. Uh, the, the twos and the threes that they're going to be playing against are better than the ones they played against last week. They both need to continue to run the, the operation smoothly, and they need to convert some third downs. You'd like to see some third downs, and you'd like to see either one of them or both take advantage of a two-minute drill at the end of the half and at the end of the game. Rookie offensive lineman Dylan Raiden's got a lot of work down here in Tampa. What does he need to show in the game to continue to make progress? Continue to do what he's done down here. He had a really nice second practice uh, against, against Tampa Bay. On the inside run, we watched him with his combination zone blocks. He still overreached a little bit at times, but I like his development. He's, he's coming along. Game time is big for him, but these two practices against this defensive front, Amy, which is one of the best in the league, four down linemen, the two backers behind it, I liked what he did. Tom Brady not going to take part in Saturday night's game, but Coach Dave McGinnis still an opportunity for the Titans' young secondary to get some work and to continue their progress. What do you need to see? They've got to continue what they did for these two days out here, and they've got to take it to game time. The thing that you always want to see about a secondary, Mike, especially a secondary that hasn't been together very long, you want to see them be able to do it in unison in, in real anxiety-driven situations. You want to see them in pressure situations. They're going to have that. They're going to have that for this game. They need to show a coalescence as a group under stressful situations. That's what I want to see. Rashad Weaver is someone who had so much success in the first game against Atlanta. How does he follow something like that up in the second game against Tampa Bay? I mean, he needs to do just what Mike Vrabel instructed him to do in the game against Atlanta. Play freely. Let it go. Don't think. You can't think. And we've said this a, long, a lot of times. Playing defense is a fast, fast game. It's reactive. If you're thinking and you're correct, you're still wrong react and play just what he did, turn himself loose. And he's going against a better group, and this will be another big test for him this week. The wide receivers getting big opportunities as the top guys not seeing action in Saturday night's game. A chance for some to follow up. Is Nick Westbrook Akina number one on your list? Yes, he is, and he's got to continue to do it. And here's, here's, here's what's going to happen in this ball game. This is a better defense they're playing against. I've said that on both sides of the ball. He's going to have to make some contested catches because they've worked against each other now for two days out here. They know his releases. They know his stems. They will study those things. So he's going to have to get really good at the separation, but he's going to have to be good at the catch point. He is going to have contested catches in the ball game. Got to make them. We'll see this one Saturday night from Raymond James Stadium. Preseason game number two, Titans in the Bucks after working against each other for a couple of days earlier in the week. Again, Titans Radio hits the air with Titans Countdown at 5.30 Saturday night. For Amy Wells and Dave McGinnis, I'm Mike Keith.